What's up, what's up, what's up, group? Welcome back to this video. This is Marcus Names, and today I have a special training for you guys. I'm going to, you guys are going to love this. Um, have you ever uh, had your business and you just felt overwhelmed? You felt or unorganized and you really, you know, didn't know how to like be productive inside of your business and really didn't have any workflow or you know have any organization in your business put a one in the comments if that's you put a two in the comments if you are just one of those really really organized people but if you aren't organized i'm going to get you organized today with some productivity hacks so let me go inside of my screen so i can show you guys exactly what i'm talking about let me put up my slides here um if you're a part of the group uh welcome to the group this is the introduction module on how to get organized with the workflow assassin and some productivity hacks all right today i'm going to teach you how to save 10 hours a week with these six product productivity and workflow hacks okay so if you you know want to really take back your time how would you like to you know gain one full work day per week back of your time with some product uh, productivity hacks okay number two how would you love to become a machine in your business and be more consistent okay i know one of the things with me i i you know really didn't wasn't organized enough to know exactly, you know, what should I be posting on what day and what types of posts I should should uh, be leading with or in, in those type of things. So me not knowing just, you know, I just never did it. So I, I, I stopped being consistent. And once I started to implement these strategies that I'm gonna teach you today, you're gonna feel just like I did. You're gonna be happy. And I've just been doing this for the last, month and a half or so and it's just been a huge boost to my business okay number three how would you like to beat out your competition okay a lot of your competition is what i just described this a person like myself who was inconsistent with their business and inconsistent with their post and inconsistent with their content and inconsistent making offers okay so these are the people that you're actually competing against okay you're not competing against the gurus you're actually competing against yourself and you're going to beat out the competition because you're going to be able to use these productivity hacks and you know create a workflow that will just automatically have you taking back your time and you're gonna love it all right number four how would you like to get more focus and set boundaries on your time so get more focus on what you need to take care of in your business what's more critical what's not as critical what can you push off for a little while and you know just start to set boundaries on i'm you know working certain hours so you can even spend more time with your kids i know i'm a uh, stay at home dad and i work from home and i have a four-year-old son now and he runs around the house all day with me especially during these times when it's hard to find daycare things like that so for me i need to set work my work hours so i you know he's not always alone and spending time playing with himself all day i have to be able to set my time set my boundaries set my schedule so i can spend time with him spend time with the rest of the family when they come home as well so these are things that actually have helped me is helped me focus more and you know overall just be uh, have a better workflow in my business. All right. So, and how would you like to spend more time with your family and friends? Like I just missed it, mentioned. Okay. So it's time to get you set up for success. All right. So the agenda for today, number one, we're going to set up your workspace for success. I'm going to get you all set up and organized. And so you can see exactly how you need to be setting up your workspace so you can get to things a lot faster and, you know, get a lot of your tasks done a lot quicker. OK, number two is all about tracking your success with this program. So as your coach, I want to be able to track your success 
inside of this program. And there's certain things that you have to get done in order to, you know, finish the program. And so I'm going to give you access to a sheet to where I want you to be able to fill that in and track your success with my program. So I can go in there and see where you are, see where you left off and, you know, see what we need to get you up to speed on so you can get, um, the the leads and start making the sales that you're looking for okay number three we're going to go over some productivity training i don't know why i can't say that word okay productivity training and you're going to learn more about the workflow assassin all right and then number four we're going to go into some q a see if you had guys have any questions things like that okay so let's get a set up for your success all right so why do we procrastinate okay i know i'm a procrastinator um you know when i you know it's, it's just like ah like working out i like to procrastinate or like even doing stuff for my business like having to make a video or you know make slides and it's just like oh man i can put that off till sunday or to the next day like who else here procrastinates? Why do you think we procrastinate? All right. Let me know in the comments, why do you think we procrastinate? All right. Okay. Number two, productivity hacks. All right. So if we are going to pro procrastinate, let's find out some hacks that we can use that will make us more productive, right? Okay. And I'm going to show you how to uh work off a calendar this is going to be your accountability ledger okay so you're going to be able to look at your calendar know exactly what you're supposed to get done day in day out hour by hour minute by minute okay so i want you to be able to start working off a calendar even like if you're just putting in me time okay let me get 30 minutes to myself i don't want to be bothered by anybody else this is me time okay put that in your schedule as well that way we are organized. We know exactly what we're supposed to be doing, what we're supposed to be getting done during that day, during that week. And this is something that we can uh, honestly do just one day a week and just figure out what we need to get done that week and be able to uh, schedule it out and task it out. All right. And then number four, I'm going to have you import your workflow assassin project manager. All right. I'm going to give you my workflow assassin. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you how I use it and how you can use it to um, start getting organized in your business and getting more of your workflow done each day. OK, so I'm going to go into some things. OK, so the word power. All right, power is the vision into reality. All right, the time it takes to turn an intention into a result. Okay, so when we procrastinate, all right, we're, we're not really turning our vision into reality because it's not intentional. We're not making it intentional, okay? We need to have the power to be intentional. OK, in turn, so we can turn our vision into reality. So it's all about our mindset and our mind shift that we have to, to have. Like instead of worrying about oh, what people might say or the fear of rejection or whatever we're we're doing to, you know, allow it to procrastinate, we have to get over that and turn start turning our vision into reality. OK, so that we can leave the second letter or word right here is a legacy. OK, legacy, how much you can create in this life based on time. OK, so we all want to create legacies for our families, for our kids. So like when we pass, we want to be able to leave a legacy for them. OK, so if we want to be able to create that legacy, how is we, how are we going to do that? We want to get back our time. All right. That's how we create a legacy, being able to get back our time. All right having other people do the things that we aren't doing so outsourcing to other people and then being able to schedule out our day and then being able to spend the time with the people that are important to us okay so we can leave that legacy all right and then the third word right here is integrity all right integrity alignment of intentions commitments and actions 
All right. If we are have our intentions correct, like we are intentionally doing things and intentionally getting things done. All right. That means we are being committed to our goals, whether they be long term, short term goals. All right. And then we actually doing actionable steps. We're taking action on our business so we can have turn our vision into a reality and create that legacy that we're looking for. OK, so we have to have the integrity within ourselves to be intentional, to commit and take action. OK, so let's go over power. All right. So you have the power to start speaking the language. Let's start speaking this into existence. I can do this. I can make this happen. All I have to do is knock this out real quick. All I have to do is knock this out real quick. OK, being intentional, being positive all the time. It, it, there's a lot of failure and fear that is going to go on, but you have to keep pushing and, and, and just keep fighting and moving forward. OK, then we have a plan and a strategy. All right. So now we have a plan. We have a strategy. OK. And what most people don't do is actually take action. All right. You have to to do list all over other places, whether it be um and your google docs other places you're not taking the action because you are so unorganized all right and then you get the results so once we eliminate this x all right we start speaking it into existence we put a plan together and a strategy all right we start taking action on our small task and our tasks that we have to take care of that's when we're going to get the results so Focus plus flow equals follow through. So when we're focused and we have a great workflow, everything else is going to follow through the way it's supposed to. So this is what makes us truly aligned. It makes us credible and it makes us reliable because it shows that we are consistent and we are always providing value. OK, so procrastination. So who here considers themselves a procrastinator, like I asked earlier. Okay, the pressure is relieved when we procrastinate. When we put things off, it seems as good as done. So when we start procrastinating and we just say, oh, I'm just gonna wait till Sunday, <laughs> and we put it on, it seems as good as done. Like, you know, like we're not worried about it. All right. Doing the task is not the thing that relieves the pressure you're feeling that allows you to procrastinate. What relieves the pressure of procrastination is the account for the task sometime in the future. All right. So what relieves the press pressure of procrastination is like, oh, I know I can put it off to some three days from now or a week from now or tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? So that doesn't really relieve the pressure of procrastination, all right? When we do this reactively, it is procrastination, but when we do this preemptively, it is called action planning, all right? So we are wanna be action planners, action takers. We wanna be the reason for our own success and not procrastinate, okay? So I'm gonna show you some, some uh, examples of what I was going through, all right? Right here is, is a whiteboard that I have where I had all of these things cluttered in my mind and I'm reading all of these different books and I'm, I'm learning from all of these different gurus of do this and do that, you should be doing this. And I had my whiteboard, I got my value ladder, I got my to-do list and it's just a cluttered mess right here, okay? So the problem, is we have too much going on at once. There's multiple places for to-dos. Like there's too many to-dos lists. Like I have a to-dos list here. I had one on my computer. I had some or just written on pieces of paper, taking notes, just when I watch videos, things like that, okay? So we have them written in journals, written on whiteboards, Google Docs and, and Google Drive on a calendar, all these other places, okay? So the solution, is that we need a centralized location to sort out all of our thoughts, okay? The allocation of results reduces anxiety, okay? So looking at this gives you anxiety, like, okay, what do I need to do? 
All right. Not even realizing that it's giving you anxiety. Like to me, I felt like I was organized with this. All right. But what I'm going to show you today, you're going to be blown away and it's going to be even better than what you see here currently. OK. All right. So I'm going to go over six productivity hacks that we're going to go over right now that you can be doing right now. OK. So Google Chrome. All right. I use Google Chrome for everything. I highly recommend that you use Google Chrome. Uh, I'm going to go off here in a second and show you exactly uh, what my Google Chrome uh, looks like. Uh, my organizing, my all my extensions and my bookmarks so it, I can get to all of my, you know, groups and my courses and everything that I have really quickly. OK, number two. We have to be able to eliminate distractions. All right. I know um, one thing, you know, is it's hard when you have um, your your phone buzzing and your computer going off and, you know, you have kids around or whatever you, you're doing. We have to be able to eliminate those distractions. OK, so we can stay focused and, you know, stick to our task and make sure that we're getting things done. All right. Number three, LastPass and password organization. This is a, a Google Chrome extension that you will be able to, you know, organize all of your passwords. It uh, holds all of your passwords so um, it can be organized so you're not constantly trying to think of your password. Like how many times have you, you know, got logged out of Facebook or something and you forgot your password and you had to reset it. Like I, I think I've done that like five or six times. So this is something, the last pass that I'm incorporating into my business currently um, as we speak, um, just getting all of my passwords and everything organized so I can easily access all of these things so I can be more productive and cut down on my time, okay? Number four, is a clean and organized desktop in a works in workspace. Okay. So you want to have your desktop looking clean, looking nice, not have folders all over it, not have everything cluttered and everywhere. Um, in the previous video I made about getting set up with the G Suite, you saw that the folders that I set up, we want to be, you know, putting all of our folders in the right places, making sure that we have them going where we want them to go because eventually what we want to get to is we want to be able to hire virtual assistants and outsource these tasks to other people so we aren't doing them as the business owner so now we ha have created a workflow for these other people and you know exactly what you need them to do because you have done it yourself okay so we want to have a clean and organized desktop in the workspace as well all right number five Productivity hack number five is using your calendar, all right? So this is one thing that I really had to learn how to do when uh, I, you know, got into business is working off a calendar. You know, being a former student athlete is is, is kind of similar because like when you're playing football, they have you on a schedule. They have you going, you know, working out in the morning. Then they have you going to breakfast and eating. Then they have you going to class. And then they have you going, um, to practice after class and then they have you go on the film it's so it's like an organization so like using the calendar was something that i really didn't do and then once i you know transition and start doing it inside of my business my my whole business changed and i i, I really see why this is important to do okay and then number six I'm gonna show you um, the acuity scheduling. This is how I schedule, like when people can schedule a call with me. I know um, there are other services like Calendly that you can use as well. So you don't necessarily have to have acuity scheduling, but this is just a scheduler app where people can, you know, actually schedule a call with you um, and you can block off the times and you can let them know exactly, you know, uh, when you're free, when you're not free, things like that. So. These are six productivity hacks that, that you can use. And this right here is the Workflow Assassin. So I'm gonna give you the link to this, um, this Trello board right here. Uh, Trello is a free um, site 
where you can get access to the exact same board here. OK, so if you're watching this inside of the group, um, the link is inside of the description. But if you're inside of the course, uh, the link will probably be in the button down below. But when you get inside of this Trello board, I'm going to go in here uh, in a second and show you exactly how to make a copy of this board. Um, please don't uh, start changing in here because this is the board. So I'm going to show you here in a minute how to make a copy of this, this Trello board. But this is how I accomplish my task and, you know, really show you exactly, you know, what's a simple task, what's scheduled, what's pending, what I got going on as far as my workflow. Okay. So let me go and go and really show you my desktop. Okay. So right here, as you can see, it's my, my desktop is clean. Okay. I have a family picture right here. I mean, I have this picture here because this is what keeps me motivated. Okay. My family being able to provide for them, being able to spend more time with them. Okay. Being able to create a business and a workflow that works in uh, my kids schedule. They're big sports uh, players over here. So every weekend they have something going on. So I have to be able to be productive during the week so I can spend that time on the weekends and spend that time during the week nights with the rest of the family and, and creating that, that legacy that we're talking about. Okay. But you can see that right here is all clean. And all I have is a recycling bin, Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is on your desktop, I want you to type in the word default, okay? So I want you to go to your default apps, and then I wanna get you to make Google Chrome your, your web browser, okay? So if you don't have Google Chrome, I highly suggest that you get Google Chrome. Uh, I think you can go to chrome.google.com and add it. But once you uh, set this as your web browser, um, that's going to be really, really good for you. Okay. So I'm going to go take you inside of my Google Chrome now. Uh, so you can see all of my bookmarks that I have in here. It's like I lost you guys somehow for some reason, but, um, we're looking at my bookmarks again. So if you look at the top, you can see that I have all of my bookmarks up here. I have my goal setting sheet right here. I have my content calendar. I have the workflow assassin. I have all of my affiliate links um, bookmarked. So anytime someone asks for an affiliate link, I can go right here um, real quickly and then get all of my affiliate links. I just have it on one um, Google Doc. So all of the affiliate links I have, whether it be with ClickFunnels, um other um people doug bouton pepper tube buddy all of these different things i can just come here i can grab the the link and then i can paste it over to um the person who's asking for the link okay i also have all some of my courses on here i need to add more courses on here because i've had a ton of courses um, I have all of my Facebook groups and I want to really show you how easy this is. I have a couple Facebook groups pulled up here. All right. The first thing you should do is actually go to the three dots at the top right up here. OK, you want to click on that and then you want to go to bookmarks and then you want to make sure it says show bookmarks. OK, see, I just clicked it and that uh, went away. So I'm going to click the uh, three dots at the top. I'm going to go to bookmarks and then I'm going to go to show bookmarks. Now you see all the bookmarks pop up. OK, another thing you can do um, to create these folders is to um, go to bookmark manager right under the show bookmarks bar. Go to bookmark manager. OK, here is where you can create your own folders. So if you click the dot up here in the blue. OK, and just add a new folder. So you can call this um, BTR Academy Clients, something like that. OK, you can add that right to your bookmarks and then it'll pop up right at the top. OK, and then what you can do is 
you know, actually go to the, a page like this. OK, this is one of my Facebook groups that I'm in. I just want to bookmark this. So I want to just hit the star on that page. And now you can see what it is. And then I want to choose what folder I want to put it in. This is the folder I just made, but this is a Facebook group. So I'm going to take it to um, my down to my Facebook group. OK, put it inside of the group. OK, I have more uh, some other Facebook groups that I'm a part of. I'm going to do this as well. Facebook group. OK, that one's done. Bookmark it, add it in the Facebook group. OK, so now when I go to my Facebook groups, I have all of my groups here. Um, these are the three that I just added. So they're, they're really easy to get to. So if all of my tabs were to disappear, I can come here and then go right to um, the group right away and it would get me to the group that I want to go to, okay? Or if I want to go to any of my things in Google, I have my inbox here, I have my Google Drive, I have my Google Docs my sheets, everything that has to deal with Google. This is why I love Google Chrome. I just want to put everything here. I have my calendar here. So if I just want to go to my calendar, see what I have going on for today, I can just click it and make sure that I'm just following my task and adding things in where I have holes. Okay. So I want you to really organize all of your folders, all of your tabs by bookmarking them. Okay. And really have them in order. OK, here are all my tools and resources that I use. So StreamYard, ClickFunnels, um, my Zoom, Canva, my Stripe account, Smart Mockups, uh, my Acuity scheduling. I have all of those things here. I have checklists um, that I, I give out to um, people on my team so they can make sure that they're getting everything done step by step. OK, so check out the bookmarks. I highly recommend that you do this, organize this because it will <laughs> really help your business. OK, so now I'm going to go into the workflow assassin. All right. This is a Trello board. This is a free board. Um, so when you click the link, um, if you are watching this in the Facebook group, the link is above this video. If you are watching it inside of the course, the link is down below this video. OK, but when you're in here, the first thing I want you to do when you get this board is to go to the show menu up here in the right hand corner. All right. I want you to go down to where it says more. And then I want you to copy board. OK, and then I want you to put a title of the board. So this can be your name. So um, if your name is uh, Jim, Jim's board or um, Karen's board or whatever you want to say Marcus's workflow. Um, just name your board. And then once you name your board, select create. OK. All right. So I'm going to show you exactly how I use this. OK. I have these different things. So I have task. OK. These are the tasks that I need to get done. This is my backlog of tasks. OK. These are the tasks that are in queue, like are preparing to get done. All right. And these are just simple tasks that I do every single day. Um, where I'm just 30 for 30 minutes, I'm checking all of my numbers from yesterday and seeing how many leads I got, how many sales that I did I get coming in, how many people actually came to my website, visited my website, how many people commented on my stuff on Facebook. OK, so I'm checking all of my numbers here. OK, then I spend time posting on Facebook, posting on Instagram, and then I take time to read a book or watch a video to get better. All right. Now, these tasks over here are my critical tasks. So every day for an hour, I, I want to prime Facebook. I want to be putting out engagement posts so I can get people commenting on my posts. OK, then I want to take those people who comment, add them as friends and then take the conversation over to Messenger. All right. Then I want to spend some time creating lead content, nurture content and some conversion content. All right. So when some when these tasks are done, you can easily move these over if you want to. They go back and forth. But I just use mine kind of down the line like this uh, and I kind of move my backlog up to queue and things like that or to scheduled. OK, so over here to schedule, this is what I do um, Sunday through Saturday. Um, I'm uploading my content on Sunday to Rev.com, where I, I, I make my all my videos on Wednesdays and Thursdays. 
I batch my content and then I take it over to Rev to have it transcribed. And, you know, so I can put it into my blog. So I'm uploading all my content. I'm editing all my content on Mondays. I'm scheduling all of my content to go out um, for the weekend on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, I'm recording new content. All right. And then uh, Thursday, Friday, I'm emailing my list. I want to make sure that I'm keeping in touch with my list every single week. So I could continue to stay in front of them and provide value and continue to uh, build that relationship with them. And then on Fridays, I use Fridays to catch up. Maybe I didn't uh, like the, the videos I, I did or I didn't get all of them done that I wanted to get done. And then on Saturday is just uh, contact a dream 100. Find someone that I want to collab with, someone that I admire, someone that I want to work with. Um, just reaching out to them and seeing what we can do. All right. So that's kind of my schedule for the week. And then in between there, I have these uh, simple tasks or critical tasks. OK, these tasks are pending. So you can, you know, if, you know, I haven't prime Facebook yet, I can put it in the pending. All right. And the thing about this, you want to have a solid system together because at the end of the day, what we want to do is be able to hire a virtual assistant that can come in here and really take care of these tasks for us so we can focus on the marketing, so we can focus on the business. So we aren't doing these small little simple tasks anymore. We can hire a VA, they can come to our board and then they can you know, move all of these things over for us and showing us that they are completing the task, okay? So when your task is completed, they can put it over here, complete, all right? So take a look at this board. Um, this is a view. I, I think I'm a, I feel like I'm a CEO or a franchise owner of a football team um, in my business. So I'm, I just wanna be able to look down on my business to see exactly what I need to do and how I need to you know, do these simple tasks in order to build it. That's why I have this football field here. So um, you can change it to whatever you want. There's a lot of different options. So I highly advise you to ch uh, check out Trello. You can use this board however you want, okay? And you can also add these things to your actual calendar, your Google calendar. So um, say for instance, I wanted to put um, this four hour watch conversion funnel and content module, okay? So I can go right here and I can just copy this, all right? And then I can go to my calendar, which we already pulled up. And then I can go to say two o'clock right here, and then I can paste it here, all right? And I know I need four hours of this time. So from 2.30 to 6.30, I have this time. So four hours, I can save that right in there and then add it right to my calendar. So I can pull up, okay, from eight to not 10 in the morning, I'm priming Facebook, Messenger conversations. I have a email marketing course, a, a call right here at one. And then at three, I'm going to get into this watch the conversion funnel and content module. OK, so that's how easy it is. That's how simple it is to organize your bookmarks. All right. Um, have a way to know exactly uh, what you need to get done. Um, whether you it's going to happen way down the line in the future or if you need to get it done um, relatively quickly and you got it in queue. And then, you know, it, even if you have to do something every single day, that's just simple. OK, so this is a great way to be organized, to have all of your stuff in one place. So you're not just, oh, I have notes here. Uh, I, I got some stuff in my journal here. So this is just brain dump everything inside of this workflow assassin um, you can add new cards here um, watch this video okay you can add those things here you can you know change um who can see the card um you can put labels on it so if you want to make some of them certain colors like i wanted to make this one yellow um you can put a checklist you can do a starting date 
do all these attachments. So there's so much different things that you can do. And then, like I said, you can just move them. As the workflow goes on, you can just move these down the line. But I highly suggest that you come up with your own system, okay? And use these, um, use this board as your guide to just brain dump everything and for you to get on task and, and get organized. So do the bookmarks, all right? Make sure you have all of your, your um, affiliate links, your courses, your groups, Google, everything on, on your bookmarks that you want to mark important and um, download the Trello board. OK. And then also one other thing that I want you guys to have as you are a part of this group, I want you to get a copy of this client success sheet. So if you're watching this inside of the membership area, you will have a button below. Uh, I want you to add your name to this sheet right here. OK, click on the button, add your name to this client success sheet. This is going to tell me how you are progressing through this actual program. OK, so if I do lives, I want you to mark if you I have been attending live. I want you to put your Facebook profile link so I can check it out to make sure that your Facebook profile is optimized. And I want you to also put your group. Uh, link here so I can check out your group, uh, join your group and see, you know, make sure your group is running correctly as well. Uh, and tell me who your avatar is, like who are you planning to target? Who is your ideal customer? Um, I want you to go live inside of the BTR Academy group and let us know who you are. Um, let me know if you're in the free course, if you um, actually put your funnel together. OK, if you start making lead content, if you have your profile set up, group set up. So these are things that you can add your name to, check it off. I'll be able to come back and actually look at it to see where you are in the program and how I can help you move forward. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the glitch and, and cutting out, but I appreciate you watching this video. Make sure you get organized, get your bookmarks organized, um, get all of your folders set up so you can be ready to succeed right away. All right. Remember, it's time to be the reason for your own success. Y'all take care.